Hey, just wanted really quick to elaborate on the grounding uh, reference that I made in the last video uh, with the, when I explained about the quick practice to connect a source that was an all stop shop uh, that would last anywhere from one to five minutes and does clearing, cleansing, connecting and grounding. So um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back to the feed and my feed to find out what that is. So the reason why I said that it's also grounding is because it is the last aspect to complete the process of grounding, right? So we are essentially are grounded by default because we are in this 3D reality. We're driving, we're eating, we're exercising, we're engaging with people. We have feelings, we touch physically. Um, we're using all of our physical senses. So we're always constantly grounded. However, we come to a point where we have distractions, we become muddled and unclear, and we forget to connect to source and recharge and take time for ourselves, right? So when, in essence, when you connect to source energy, to God creator, you complete that grounding process. What it does, it clears you, it gives you the clarity you need and, the, and it strengthens your intuition. And so you become this powerful, magnificent, multidimensional being. As, as the saying goes, as, as above, so below. And as deep as you go with the grounding, you have to go as high. So there are people out there that are just always in the ethers. They're always in spirit and communicating with the spirits, but they're minimally grounded. Those are the people that need to do the grounding practices to um, anchor out, anchor to the earth and, and connect to that energy. But essentially, ground doing connect when you're already in the thick of it with this physical reality you when you connect to source you become clear connected into powerfully intuitive and balanced most importantly so